Hey there, YouTubers. I know it is going to be a little bit hairy, and it may sound a little bit hairy for y'all because I'm trying to get the more and more comfortable with doing these type of videos on on air, other than the usual text videos. But it's going to take me a while because it, I'm not used to seeing my and hearing my own voice and actually looking at myself on screen. But I'm slowly but surely trying to get into the hang of it, so just bear with me. This may be a little, little, slight little shaky, but I'm going to try anyway. This is going to be a video response. Well, not so much a video response, but an answer to a request that was made to me by the lovely and talented Divinity33372, who basically asked me to do a response to an issue that she had been troll been trolling her along for the last late like, month or so about slut shaming women. And basically it's based upon some incidents that have been taking place in, along the YouTube community within the past two week or two. I mean she has been doing videos about the harm, the damage to slut shaming, and if you remember, I did a video about slut shaming and the effects of it based upon what happened with Rush Limbaugh and Sandra Fluke. And if you remember that video, you remember that video almost got flagged for some reason. I still don't know why. <laughs> but, in any case, that's beyond the point. Anyway, what happened? The case involved a user named I think it was Zoon. Yeah, I tried to get this. No, I'm sorry. There was a user named Noom who is. In fact, I pull. I had to pull off with sight people. What? In a, what? I think what happened was that from what I information that I happened able to get from garner from it was that Noom was part of a YouTube community of. Who decided to meet with each other and go on some form of trip with them. I think it was a camping trip, fishing trip, whatever. And during the trip, some things happened. Apparently, I don't know whether she got drunk, whether she was drunk, or whether she was just super horny or whatever. But she's apart from some of the two was speculating and charging that she had hit on some of the others. She was getting, how we say, fresh too fresh with some of the guys, the other guys that were with her on this trip. And they didn't exactly like that fact that they were getting hit on. <sighs> I mean, I know that it's kind of funny that a lot of men would usually not be able to have a woman hitting on them, but that's how it goes sometimes. Anyway, I get these guys were so upset and so taken aback at this woman hitting on her that they decided to make a, a lesson of her. The problem was they decided to use YouTube to do it. They just, they basically went together, got together, and made a series of YouTube videos at their channels, essentially attacking this woman as a slut, using all of the youth feel that they how they were so upset and put off that this woman would act this way and how. She was, you know, and oh, how offended they were, and that this woman should have no place in the channel because she's a slut, dirty, disgusting, filthy, rotten, you know, all the slut shaming that that, that done to women who they don't like, who hit on them too much. I, it, it, in a way, it's kind of sim similar to the stuff that Onision was doing a while back. Now, to me, personally, I don't know what, how, how would I respond if a woman came to me and started hitting on me and I didn't like it within an inappropriate way? There is a way to do it. The, I mean, probably I would tell her that first glance I would say, no thank you, I'm not interested. If she feels consistent to it, I say, please, back off please. No thank you, I'm not interested. The third time, this young woman comes in, it becomes harassment, and then I tell her, Dear, I'm already taken. Don't you back off, please. 
He said, next, the next time you go, I'm going to, to the authorities on you. I mean, that's what, but that's one thing. It's one thing to do that to a woman and to say to a woman who is trying to hit on you, no thank you, I'm not interested. It's another thing to go on YouTube and call her out that way, that publicly. No, I just do not understand that and I would not do that. I wouldn't do that on my worst enemy. And I, and you know, I mean, I can call, there, there are people who deserve to be called out for what they do. But that is the lie. You don't hear, I mean, something personal like that does not belong on a public channel. Now, if a person, now, now a person who go off and you think commits an act of violence, a person who goes off and commits an act of, or a person that, like, say, Josh Clark, Josh Clark, the infant, the raven, who uses and makes up fictitious bodies, and then goes around and shoots them to basically emotionally abuse people, like the, what, what Ashes the Raven recently did with Ruby Dynamite, you know, the Crip Queen, and which, which of course has been so well documented and so well, I mean, all along, so I'm not even going to get into that mess, I'm not even going to get into that, excuse me, but anyway, that's not the point, the point that I want is that, it, to me, it is a form of slut shaming, it is a form of embarrassing, and it's totally wrong. It is not the way you do, you, you do business. I mean, it's not the I mean, if you have a problem with a woman hitting on you, well, and I say the same thing if a woman has a problem with a man hitting on her, other people, it's one thing to say to her face, I don't want it. But to, and, but, and it's one thing to say, look, this woman hit on me, and I didn't, and I, I feel comfortable with it. It's completely a different thing altogether to go out and just humiliate her and embarrass her like that. That's going almost into the territory that Onision did with this woman. The, uh, this woman, I, I still forget her name. I mean, to really just, I mean, that's almost like, I mean, to, in this way where women who are openly sexual and women who try to, who are, tend to be sexually aggressive, I mean, sexually assertive, but who still respect the others, they are still treated like, well, if they want to have sex, one then they should not object to people helping on them the other and if they and if they have sex with more than one or two people or more than three or more than five or whatever the hell the number they think well they lost the right to say no and therefore we can rape them or do all we want see that attitude is the attitude of a chauvinistic asshole <sighs> I mean just because a woman says yes to three people, or five people, or ten people, or twenty people, does not give you the right to just assume that she's going to say yes to you. It is her body, it is her, it is hers to use as she sees fit. Unless, of course, you are her boyfriend or significant other, or, you know, and you may have a problem, and she cheated on you in private. That's a different issue. But if you, but you have no business, no business, condemning her for wanting to do the thing with her body. Now, but if she, now if she feel uncomfortable with the thing that she does, and she goes to you and tries to hit on you with you, then you have the right to say no, and she had to had to respect that no. Just like you have to respect her right to say no, if you try to force her, to, uh, well, well, not force it upon them, because if it's forcing it upon them, then that's assault, and it's pretty much close to rape. But, if, if a woman comes to you, and with the, and you say no, and then she just, just, okay, that's fine. I think there are other people, and that, that's
should be the end of it. You have no business to smear her. To, or well, you have no business to come into a YouTube channel or a public channel and simply attack her as some evil, dirty, disgusting, professional slut simply because you don't like the fact that she he wants sex. I'm sorry, but it is not your business to do that. And I have to agree with I agree with divinity on one when what she says about it. It is slut shaming, and it's part of the general trend against. Excuse me again. And it's part of the general trend to demonize and diminish women for the no reason that they like sex. Or simply the diminished reason for the fear that they, that they act like women who like sex too much. I mean, it's not enough to not to say, I mean, it's not even to, to be a slut. I mean, the notion of acting like a slut is bad enough for some people, but especially for some the worst forms of bigots who will say, well, he may not be an actual slut, but she's acting like one. If she wants to have contraception, like Rush said to about said the fluke, well, if she's going to go out and have contraception and work control and our attack plan to dismiss, then why can't we go in and see, why can't we have the video seeing her having sex? Probably because she doesn't want to your ass to see her having sex, you dumbass. Because she does not exist for your political pleasure, Rush. But that, to me, that's the main problem that I had with slut shaming and bashing women. I mean, for bashing women for the simple crime of liking sex more than some people would allow them to. It's just plain wrong. It's it's stupid, actually. Okay. Like I said, I'm new at this, and this may sound like I'm rambling along, but I have to do something, do a favor. I mean, I have to do this as a favor, and I hope that what I wanted to say got through. If it didn't, well, so uh, I can do another take of this later. That's all, y'all. Peace out.